um, I was blessed and honored to uh, attend the Tiny Desk. Uh, you know, yo, fuck you, okay, yo. That's, man, you flexing right yeah. here. Yeah. Um, shout out to the plug. I don't want to put her name out there, but I will tag her. I'm going to text her and, and ask if it's, you know, if the information is good to put out. I don't want to give not. up my political connects. But um, I was blessed and honored to uh, witness Freddie Gibbs. Um, in person, just you know, the, ti- the NPR right. tiny desk. I asked if, if I can get a plus one for Aziz. The, the request was denied. And then at that point, I had to make a decision. <laughs> <laughs> at that point, I had to make a decision. I said, do I reap the uh, the fruits of my labor? Is this camera on me? <laughs> do I, do I reap the fruits of my labor and what the connections and the experiences that I've been bro? able to... Uh, Yo, to, to produce and uh, and nurture in life, right? And 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 attend, you know, something that was extended to me. I want to talk or, so much shit right now. <laughs> or do I extend that to my brother? Because my brother is my brother has been playing Freddie Gibbs and begging me to get on that wave for years. I will give that man that credit. Hmm. And I never got. And I never, uh, you know, I never was tapped in up until Bandana. Up until now, up until the joint he did with Alchemist. But so Bandana was, took it to a different. So you wasn't even the pinata. Or, mm-hmm. I was always aware of him, but my feeling was al- was always that Freddie yeah. Gibbs needed a better engineer because I feel like his vocals wasn't um, piercing through enough. Word, word. He's also southern, which is another barrier. He's, he's, he's from, Midwest. He's from uh, Gary. Well, yeah, Gary Indiana. Was, okay, he's from the Midwest, but his accent is very is very um, strong. Mm-hmm. So, but I feel like on Mad Libs joint, you could hear every word that nigga was saying. Mm-hmm. And that's something that's, you know, that I haven't heard on past projects. So I asked the nigga, I was like, how does it feel to un- unlock somebody's career? Because, mm. like, as a producer, right? Like, Freddie Gibbs, everybody is known, you know, Freddie Gibbs is a real nigga. Like, we know what he can do. But Madlib really unlocked this nigga's career. Like, he might have a My Grammy-nominated name. album off this shit. I was, thinking, that's that's insane. Insane. I was thinking the same thing. Like, I was just thinking how much that Madlib really... Kind of evolved. Yeah. Freddie Gibbs is like yes. notoriety. His yeah, his whole trajectory. Yeah. Like, he, like they had a moment at the show, not mm-hmm. to cut you off, mm-hmm. but they had a but to cut you off. Yeah, <laughs> they had a moment at the show where like this nigga Freddie Gibbs was really about to shed tears because yeah. he was like this nigga really changed my life. I think he was going through a situation, you know, with the law Legal, shit, legally. But like, right. Yeah, but like he was like this nigga was yeah. really there for him. So I asked him, and I'm gonna ask you. The producer has a lot of power. Oh, yeah. so much and so much. I feel as though the producer was underrated. And it's kind of, I mean, niggas know, real niggas know. Yeah, like, like there's, you there's guys songs, are underrated and forgotten. But there's songs, like, there's songs that I hate. You can have the best raps, but if the if the if the if the wreck is not, you know, if it's not groovy, niggas not gonna. Groovy. Not like like too. like, yeah. like J. Rob has made me listen to more Tiger than I that ever I want to. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, to. I yes. feel like with this era though, like we live in you know the SoundCloud era, and uh-huh. it's like the producers get more spotlight. Dominus 